Hey guys, Father Time, I've got a fun exercise I'm going to do today for you. Uh, take a look here in the bottom right, you see the FSI panel in the bottom left, Beyond ATC. I'm going to combine the two programs. I'm going to let FSI panel position us for a downwind to uh, Kennedy, and I'm going to let Beyond ATC vector us in. So uh, let's take a look at that. We'll, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to click in and get us started. But before I do, I want to show you a couple of things while it boots up. Two tricks. You've got to have a round robin going here, guys. It's got to be JFK to JFK or wherever you want, whatever airport you want. It's got to be a round robin. Um, the other thing is, it has to be to the runway. Beyond ATC is going to use the that base for your arrival base that's on there. Um, also, if, so FSI panel, you have to take off at that airport, and then you want to go to the runway. In this case, it's uh, two two right ILS or ILS 22 left as well um, you want to put yourself on one of those two runways for the downwind vectors okay so let's try that those are the two things you got the uh, round robin going JFK to JFK and you've got to match the runway up no matter where you put yourself at the side panel beyond ATC is going to vector you to the ATIS runway in this case 22 left to 22 right so now I'm going to start up FSI panel on the runway let it boot up. Going to put us on a nice wide downwind. A couple of tricks. So it's thinking about it. Triple seven three hundred. It knows that. JFK. Uh, we're going to go two two left. We'll say. And I want to put us on a right hand downwind. What, what, right hand downwind. I'll define that. Downwind. Uh, three thousand feet above the ground. Eight miles wide. It could be five miles wide. I'm going to put us eight miles wide. I find that works a little better. And then you go position, right hand downwind, and move aircraft. And set max landing weight. There we go. So we're max landing weight uh, going into 22 left vectors ILS, 22 left. Let's see how it works, guys. Now the aircraft is getting set up by FSI panel. You can see right now nothing's in there. It's got 10,000. You're on the ground. It's thinking about it, preparing your aircraft. Standby, it's up here. Some of it's hidden behind my ugly face. You're going to go through a little bit of gyrations while it's positioning yourself. Don't be touching anything, maneuvering anything. I'm going to put the gear handle up just because we're clean. It's going to put us 3,000 feet above the ground for 3,000 feet and 230 knots clean. Don't pay attention to any of this stuff. See, it's already Army Auto Brake Seat starting to program the box. There's the ILS 22 left is set in there. You can see it's right there. Now, this is going to disappear. We may have to re enter this in a second. We're letting it position us on the downwind. You see we're on a 045 heading, which is a downwind heading. Still preparing our approach. And then we're going to start up beyond ATC. I can get it kind of booted up and talk about that. I'm not going to go fly yet. Now remember, the beyond ATC is going to look at your, your Simbri flight plan and it's going to look at your ATIS arrival runway. So you got to go to that correct runway. Uh, options, I'm going to have Jeff uh, Fagiano. I really po apologize for that. As our FO, we got traffic control. Should be New York volume. Uh, density, I have the... Um, I bought the premium edition, which has uh, traffic. I've got the density up pretty high. Parking density, air arrivals, departures density. It's going to be noisy. Now, I will say, guys, in fairness to me, I have already lowered... The Beyond ATC down to 22. Microsoft Flight Simulator is down a little bit too. Maybe I'll bring that up a little. All right, so, but it's going to be a little loud. I find it loud anyway. Okay, I'll get rid of that. Now, here's the other thing. Now we're going to go on the box. You can see there that the approach has disappeared. So, program the box. I was 22 left, Rosley intersection. This should say 224. PMDG, I should write that up. 224, extended center line, and there you go. And you've got it set. Go to the box, double check, nav rad, 1109224. And uh, I should have the minimum set. Minimum set uh, should be 200. Ah, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter, does it? We'll set it at 300. Yeah, there we go. 220. 
Yeah, let's go for it. I think it's 212 on the barrel. 212, 3000, clean configuration. Now, I'm going to hold the brakes, guys. Hold the brakes, and that's going to release it. Now we're flying with the autopilot on. Now, I'm not going to start beyond ATC just yet. Instead, what I'm going to do is my checklist. Uh, this is going to be checklist override because this actually happens in the real sim with American Airlines. We had to you just do checklist override and altimeters are set. Checklist override and we're down here. And we can go ahead and arm the speed brakes. There we go. Now I ran into a little bit of a problem in uh, the approach. We already talked about it, but we're going to land 2 2 right and clear. Probably kill. Look at that displaced threshold. It's down 3,000 feet down the runway. Uh, but we'll get off somewhere kilo or kilo three, probably hold short of 31, and it's going to be probably alpha around the November char of the gate. Yesterday, I tried this twice. It came out really good, except right here, as we went through that divide, airplane crashed with no traffic, no nothing. So there's obviously something going on with the map. We're going to come in November Charlie this time. And uh, you know, so that's, that's how you set it up. That is how you set it up. I'm still not in a big hurry until I want, I'm ready for a turn, because once we check on, it's going to get real noisy in here. And at that point, they may vector you and really get you up high and tight. So wait till you're being like the FAF before you do anything. And we're in downwind. So I think what I'll do, we're really heavy. Look at that. Up. I'm going to put flaps one. We'll come the flaps to one. Can't see it. It's behind the FSI panel. Flaps one. Manhattan back here. And we can bring the speed back to 210. Just kind of getting set up. You can see the flaps one speed is 211, so 209 rather. 210 will work. And Kenda usually will slow you down about 210 here. And I'm going to go flaps five because in case they turn this high and tight. All right, now we're be or being the FAF. I'm going to go ahead and start. And it's going to get real noisy. It's going to be loading up. I'll let you watch this. <laughs> you can put this off to the side. <coughs> I'm going to have the FAO doing it. <laughs> Sorry, I have the plague from my grandchildren. Uh, they live in petri dishes. They're walking petri dishes. Anyway, it's not COVID, so don't worry, you won't catch it. But I've had a rough fall, I'll tell you. Here we go. Those grandbabies are all in daycare now, and you catch a lot of stuff. So it's, it's doing it. This is why it's important to have JFK around Robin. So those are two things. Now put it on descent. Okay. And then. This is going to be, Jeff is going to answer and respond to the radios for me. And I'm going to go to Tracon. Right here, 35.9. And announce on frequency. And you're done. Put that away. New York American 142 Heavy descending via Parch 3, 3,000 feet with information Quebec. American 142 Heavy, New York approach. Good day, altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. Expect a visual approach, runway 22 left. Altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. Expect a visual approach, runway 22 left. American 142 Heavy. Let's make sure that's what we got in there. It American is. 142 Heavy, turn right, heading 190. Intercept the 22 left localizer. Descend, maintain 1800. Altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. Vectors for the approach. Turn right, heading 190, intercept the 22 left localizer, descend, maintain 1800, altimeter 2992, American 142 heavy. All right, flight level change. We got flaps five here, descending at 210, Jeff, 190, and 180. 1800. 1700 feet with information Quebec. Jeff, Lieutenant Zero, two, New York approach, good day, altimeter 2992, expect the visual approach, runway tree one right. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to be right at the FAF. So let's get it slowed down. New York, flaps 5 speed, you can see we're right up against it. Right up against it. So I'm going to go flaps 15. American 142 Heavy Airport is at your 2 o'clock, 1 8 miles. Report the field in sight. Field's in sight. Field in sight. Field in sight, American 142 Heavy. 
American 142 heavy cleared visual approach runway 22 left. Cleared visual approach 22 left, American 142 heavy. All right, clear the visual, 22 left, guys. If you want to go down here, you Jet can Blue actually Niner, zero, six, go here, New York here, approach, here, good day. Altimeter two here, nine or nine or two. Expect the visual there, approach, runway tree there. one right. And now you get the active point in front of you. Here comes the glide slope. We can arm nine, it. Zero, Pretty cool, huh? And it's going to bring us all the way to the gate. JetBlue 680, New York approach, altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. Again, our plan is to land. It's got the giant displaced right. threshold. And, uh, clear, uh, down here around Kilo, hold short of 31 JetBlue left. JetBlue 680, turn right, heading 065, intercept the tree one right localizer, vectors for the approach. It's our plan. Turn right, heading 065, intercept the tree one right localizer, JetBlue 680. Pretty New York cool. Endeavour 5052, good day, 13,400 feet with information Quebec. Endeavour 5052, New York approach, altimeter 29092, expect the visual approach, runway tree 1 right. Altimeter 29092, expect the visual approach, runway tree 1 right, Endeavour 5052. Okay, Endeavor we're at 5052, turn left, heading tree zero zero, intercept the tree one right localizer, descend and maintain 1,700 feet, altimeter two nine nine or two, vectors for the approach. Our missed approach altitude is set. Turn left, heading tree zero zero, intercept the tree one right localizer, descend and maintain 1,700 feet, altimeter two nine or nine or two, Endeavor 5052. American 142 Heavy, contact Kennedy Tower 123.9er, take care. Over to Tower 123.9er, American 142 Heavy, take care. 23.9. Kennedy Tower, American 142 Heavy, visual runway 22 left. American 142 Heavy, Kennedy Tower, wind 255 at 8, runway 22 left, cleared to land. Runway 22 left cleared to land. American 142 heavy. All right, clear to land, 22 left. Right hand turn off, hold short of 31 left. We'll probably, they usually beyond ATC, we'll send you over to the American Airlines gates, which is the, on a Sobo F concourse. Here comes the glide slope, so gear down, flaps 20. Speeds below 225, flaps 20. Start slowing it down just a little. See how flaps 20 speed is all the way up at 170. Here's down, flaps 25. Skywest 3911 ready to go, runway tree one left. Low 180, flaps uh, 30. Skywest 3911, Kennedy Tower, wind 255 at 8. The nav to score, runway 31 left, cleared for takeoff. Runway 31 left, our nav to score, cleared All for right, takeoff. Four landing checklist complete. Clear to land. And there you go. And it should give us uh, all the way to the gate. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to turn off the autopilot. Now, I noticed with this PMDG, when I turn that autopilot off, there's a little bit of nose down. I have to trim it a little nose up. Pushes down a little. There we go. All configured. Looking good. Get it all trimmed. Looking good. There's the Vazies, looking good. Now remember, we're going to go way down the runway with that displaced threshold. Now in an emergency, naturally, you could use it, the whole thing. Just want to make sure you tell Tower, just so they don't, on your mayday, put someone out on the runway. Let's see if we can get a nice touchdown. Now, he might think we landed out of zone. I hope JP on the uh, landing grade, stable target, sinking seven. 
floor, glide slow. Yeah, guys, they lost the glide, so take it over visually. 300. Plus. 100. 200. Sink rate. Minimums. Sink rate. 100. 60. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. 5. Sky West 3911, contact New York departure. Contact New York Departure, Sky West 3911. Uh, I'm center care. line, a little long, a little long. Reverse is coming in. I'll get off my second right. Might get hit, hammered on the landing grade. Because I landed a little long. I could have turned right. American 142 Heavy, exit right at Zulu. Exit right at Zulu, American 142 Heavy. Jet Blue 186 ready to aviate, runway 31 left. Jet Blue 186, Kennedy Tower, wind 255 at 8, anap to score, runway 31 left, cleared for takeoff. Runway 31 left, RNAV to score, cleared for takeoff, Jet Blue 186. I don't know which way the vector is. American 142 Heavy, contact ground 121.9er. Wait here, guys. Ground 121.9er, American 142 Heavy. Well, you usually like to stop here. They usually get upset if you do that. American 142 Heavy, to request taxi to allocate a gate. American 142 Heavy, gate Foxtrot 12, taxi via Juliet. Hold short, runway 4 left. Gate Foxtrot 12 Taxi via Juliet. Hold short runway 4 left, American 142 Heavy. I hold short of 4 left up there. Egypt Air 9, 86 Heavy, ramp 128, request pushback. Holding short, and we got Egypt this nice Air, uh, Niner, 86 handy dandy. Heavy. Kennedy ground pushback right and there. engine start approved. Face That's why I didn't want to turn there, guys. I didn't know where they were going to send me. Push back and engine start approved. Face southwest, Egypt Air Niner, 86 heavy. We'll get our landing grade from JP. It's going to be good. It's a decent touchdown on center line, but long. They don't like that. Uh, regular airline pilots will take a firm landing on center line in the zone. Never want to go long. There's this uh, hold short area up here. Holding short. Sometimes you got to look for um, instructions. That was pretty abrupt. Delta 2645, gate 22, request pushback and engine start. Delta 2645, Kennedy ground, pushback and engine start approved. Face southeast. Pushback approved, face southeast, Delta 2645. Get ready, get ready. JetBlue 337, contact Kennedy Tower 123.9er. I could tell we're waiting to cross. Tower 123.9er. Usually you wouldn't do this, guys. I just day. don't know if that's something they want you to do. He's gonna American 142. The real New Yorkers would be yelling to cross four left. See how realistic this is. American 142 Heavy, cross runway four left at Juliet. Continued taxi via Juliet, Alpha, Quebec, Bravo, November, Charlie. Cross runway four left at Juliet. Continue taxi via Juliet. Alpha, Quebec, Bravo, November. Charlie, American 142, heavy. All right, clear to cross. Egypt Air Niner, 86 heavy. Request taxi to be active. A few started. Egypt Air Niner, 86 heavy. Runway three one cool, guys. taxi via Mike Alpha. I got a big kick Bravo, out of this stuff. Kilo Delta. Let's take a look. There it is. Runway 31, left Julia. taxi via Mike Alpha, Bravo. All the way Kilo around Delta, there. Egypt Air Niner, right 86 Heavy. Yeah, so they sent Delta us to the American... Delta 2645, request taxi to the active. The American Airlines gates, not bad. Delta 2645, runway 31, left taxi via Kilo Foxtrot, Bravo, Kilo Delta. 
Runway 31 left taxi via Kilo Foxtrot, Bravo Kilo Delta, Delta 2645. Man, it brings back memories. I retired about a year ago, guys. It's American, uh, is it RJ? It's, it's uh, A320. A320. Brickyard 4455, contact Kennedy Tower 123.9er. I hope have they don't have day. us going across this divide. Over to Tower 123.9er, Brickyard 4455, take care. Yeah, they might. We might crash into that wall. We'll see. There's something, uh, some obstruction that's in there. We'll see. Hopefully it works. Move this off to the side. What time is it here? It's one one ten in the afternoon. Kind of a dark day out there. Delta 2645, contact Kennedy Tower 123.9er. Contact Tower 123.9er, Delta 2645. JetBlue 1273, Gate 9er, request pushback and engine start. JetBlue 1273, Kennedy ground, pushback and engine start approved. Face west. Pushback approved, face west, JetBlue 1273. All right. Turn Egypt here. Air 9er 86 heavy, contact Kennedy Tower 123.9er. Are those gears under that speed tape? You guys who are Boeing, one, Boeing two, guys know that. Nine, Donald Douglas. MD-11 is the same way as the Boeing's. Jet Blue 1002, Gate Alpha 18 Taxi via Victor Alpha Delta. Gate Alpha 18 Taxi via Victor Alpha Delta, Jet Blue 1002. So, what do you think? Works pretty good, doesn't it? Delta 1961. Combination eight, beyond nine, ATC, beyond ATC and FSI panel. And you could do multiple approaches. You could uh, Delta 1961 Kennedy ground. Even though they vector you for the ILS, approved, you can do an R and F final. Push back and engine start approved. They don't care. Face southeast Delta 1961. As long as the ground track is similar. Okay, the second right, not this one. Jet Blue 1759 at Gate Two Tree. Request push back and engine start. Well, Jet Blue 1759, Kennedy ground, pushback approved, face southeast. Oh, pushback and one. engine start approved, face southeast, Jet Blue 1759. Gonna turn in here. All aircraft be advised information, Romeo now current, altimeter 29 or 89 er Jet Blue 1273, taxi for departure. All right, cleared in, ramp with clear is in. JetBlue 1273, runway 31, left taxi via Golf Alpha Guys, if this crashes Charlie. in here, there's something going runway on with the uh, left taxi via Kennedy Golf ramp. Alpha Kilo Charlie, JetBlue 1273. Brickyard 5829, ramp 9 or 7, request pushback. Yeah, it's something right about in this area. There's something Brickyard going on, so I may park. Kennedy ground, pushback approved, face southwest. I don't think I'll park, go by there. Pushback and engine start approved. I think I'll just go park in the right here. It wants us to go all the way through. And Delta anywhere here it was crashing. Ready to taxi to the active. Why don't we just park here, this next one. Delta 1961, runway 31 left taxi yeah, it was, it via Hotel there, Bravo Alpha Kilo Charlie. Runway 31 left taxi via Hotel Bravo Alpha Kilo Charlie Delta 1961. I don't trust it. JetBlue 1759 request taxi. JetBlue 1759, runway 31, left taxi via Delta Alpha Alpha Kilo Charlie. Runway 31, left taxi via Delta Alpha Alpha Kilo Charlie, JetBlue 1759. I just think it's just great. Go all the way in. Usually you're right up against the uh, terminal on these gates because you get you, they keep playing at 2L. Okay, brakes apart. Go to the overhead. Seatbelt sign is off. APU is running. How do we know? It says right there you can chop both engines. 
Back to the overhead. Brickyard 5829, request taxi. Brickyard 5829, runway 31, left taxi via Golf Alpha Kilo Charlie. Runway 31, left taxi via Golf Alpha Kilo Charlie, Brickyard 5829. All right, and the beacons are off. And we can run the checklist with FSI panel. Shut down procedure. I'm going to go to GSX. Delta 1961, contact Kennedy Tower 123.9er. This parking is too small. Contact Tower 123.9er, Delta 1961. All right, guys, and uh, I'm going to get Jet my Blue landing grade. Three, hold position for traffic. I'll call you back. Long hold landing. For traffic. Satisfactory. Jet Blue nice landing. Perfect. So, yep, there it is. Long landing. Now, I, I don't. India one zero yeah. Heading, gate five. That was long. Push back and engine start. Ah, well. Okay. Shut off FSI panel. Well. Air India one zero two heavy Kennedy ground. Push back and engine start approved. Kill off uh, beyond ATC. We'll head outside. And there you have it. How do you like that? Say goodbye to the peeps. Goodbye, peeps. Sure, we'll get ground power. And guys, that's it. That's using Passing FSI panel with Beyond ATC. You could actually do it and position yourself up on uh, for up at altitude at an arrival with FSI panel. You can do pattern work. You can do it and, and uh, just put on Traycon and off you go. Pretty cool. Um, anyway, you can have a little fun with it. It's a little bit more of immersion. And I even burned some premium points for you. All right. Father Time from Kennedy checking out. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>